Next, it's important for us to introduce the concepts of series connections and parallel connections in circuits. These two are generally denoted as follows, and they have some important physical underpinnings or, or explanation as to what makes something in series versus what makes something in parallel. The two resistors on the left are, connected, are said to be connected in series. We can see this because any current that enters the left resistor will have to pass on through it and onto the, through the second resistor on the right. That's what we mean by in series, because of by Kirchhoff's first law, the current passing through the first resistor equals the current passing through the second. But so by series, we mean the current has to pass through one and then through the other. This is similar to connecting two garden hoses and then allowing water to flow. The two garden hoses will be in series, one after the other, and water will have to go through both in order to get out. The two resistors on the right, on the other hand, are said to be connected in parallel. If I have a current I1 that's about to head into the pair of resistors, we can see that there's a junction on the left-hand side of the resistors. And at that junction, the current is going to split up into a pair of currents I2 and I3. By Kirchhoff's first law, that current will have to equal the original current I1. These two currents will meet up again at a later time and, and again sum together so that I2 plus I3 will equal I1, and I'll have the original current flowing on down the circuit. By parallel, we mean that there had to be a a parallel split of the current, and some of the current would go off one path, and some of the current would go off another path, but they would eventually meet up again. We can think of this like a river splitting off into two branches and then rejoining into a larger single river again. Another way to identify that something is in parallel is that a pair of elements like resistors share the same voltage on their upstream side, and that would be true because the voltage is all the same all along this wire, and it only changes once I go through the resistor. There's a voltage drop. Likewise, the, the voltage is the same all along this wire, and it only changes once I start to go through the second uh, resistor right there. So the voltage is the same all along this side of my cursor, where the, on the left-hand side of the resistor, it's some common value. Likewise, the voltage is the same all throughout this side on the right. It may not be the same as on the left-hand side, because there was, in fact, a voltage drop but the downstream side of the two resistors share a common value in voltage. So whenever you see a common value in voltage on the upstream side or and on the downstream side for a pair of circuit elements, you know that they're, they're in parallel. Sometimes circuit drawings are so complicated and it's difficult to tell whether something's in, circuit, uh, in series or in parallel. Here's a battery connected to a set of six resistors. A 220 ohm resistors, a 40 ohm resistor, 225 ohm resistors, and a 100 ohm resistor. Which of these are in series and which of these are in parallel? Well, one thing to identify quickly is that the 25, 100, and second one of the 25 resistors are all in series. Any current that's flowing from this place where my cursor is through the 25 ohm resistor will have to go through the 100 and the second uh, value of 25 ohms. So these three are just like in series. Now there's a junction upstream of them where current could be coming along from the 20 ohm resistor and it has to make a choice. It can either go down the path with the 25 or the path with the 40. Or more likely, it splits up. The original current will, t will divide itself and some of it will go down the path with the three resistors and some of it will go down the path with the 40. So the 40 ohm resistor is in parallel with these three. Then, of course, there's that 20 ohm resistor up near the battery and the other 20 ohm resistor on the other side, near the other side of the battery, and the battery itself. Well, how do I think about those things? I know that the 40 and these three resistors over here are in parallel with one another, but how do I view these 20 ohm resistors? Well, they're kind of equivalent to all the current has to pass through a 20 ohm in order to get to that junction right there. And after I have the current rejoining that junction, it has to go through that second 20 ohm. So this 20 ohm and this 20 ohm are said to be in series with that big lump that's in the middle. The big lump in the middle consists of two parallel paths. That 40 ohm resistor is in parallel with these three. And then this thing and this thing are in series with that big giant lump in the middle. So these are some ways to recognize what's in series and what's in parallel. Take a look at this circuit diagram and try to understand which of these resistors is in series with all the others as, you go, as current goes from point A to point B. 
Well, the only one that's absolutely in series with everything else is the 100 ohm resistor. Current will come to this junction and it will split into a couple of different paths. Those paths will rejoin again and then all the current has to pass through the 100 ohms. Therefore, the 100 ohms is in series with all the other resistors. Now, can you name the resistors that are in parallel with the 25 ohm resistor? That's these two, the 20 and the 40 ohm, because there's a junction upstream of all of these where current would split. Some of it would go down the 25 ohm path and some of it would go down this path with the two resistors. And then that current pair of currents would rejoin again at this se second junction and keep on going in its merry way. Therefore, this pair of resistors is in parallel with the 25 ohm resistor. These are just some practice examples of getting a sense of what circuit drawings can look like and when you will see something is in parallel and when it is in series.